and uh, clean that out. But if you're having polyps, just like bowel polyps, polyps comes from the inside of the wall. It pushes through. It's like a, uh, you know, it's like it's stagnant lymph. And so it's your lymph system again. And of course, when fluids are acidic, it creates an anionic environment, which is an environment of coagulation and dehydration, creating a, a, a drying up or, or, a, or a, 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 a coagulating uh, issue where things are sticking together, becoming stones or rocks or, or uh, uh, sto uh, uh, gallstones, things like this. Uh, um, it makes that lymph system thick, and you've gotten some real thick mucus out of the head before. Sometimes it takes months and months to start making that uh, anionic environment a cat ionic environment, one where you're seeing more of a rehydration and a thinning of that fluid so the body can expect to rate it better. So don't get frustrated. Some people have real bad, especially if you've been on dairy products all your lives, you can have a lot of work ahead of yourself, but don't get frustrated. You'll get it. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let's see what she says here. Oh, this lady. Oh, this is about the hair. Yeah, honey, uh, you, you've been to a lot of docs giving you hope and stuff, but not right hope, not, not true hope. You're learning regeneration, and that's the only hope in any situation I feel is the regeneration of tissue, whether it's scalp, hair, I don't care. You've got to think about what breaks down tissue and what rebuilds tissue in chemistry. That's why you're introduced to the fruits and vegetables, why there's such a, a radical change now to the food. You, you know, this is really just asking you to eat the food your body's designed to eat. How radical does that sound to some people? Uh, I find that amazing. What we're eating in this omnivorous diet is radical to who we are as a species in terms of our, our types of foods desired. So call in to Kathy. She'll give you a guy's name. His story is pretty wild, but uh, we have tons of these people. Understand regeneration is an incredible experience, and you can't help but not do it if you're following this path. Uh, let's see. Uh, elevate, yeah, liver enzymes. Someone was talking about that along with the arm of thyroid there. Yeah, I mean, your liver's starting to break down or something's damaging that liver outside of the lymph system, and that would be generally a chemical ingestion, either... Uh, your uh, lipiturs, all your statin type things, a lot of things damages the liver. So I'd get on a liver uh, herbal formula, definitely get into the fruits and the berries and then move that lymph system. But also I will tell you when you have liver and pancreatic problems, the colon is always involved. So clean up that gut too. That's why we go over that Fab Four where we see the kidney formula, we see the adrenal gland formula, we see the GI tract formula, and we see a lymphatic formula. That bowel is so important to clean up, not just on the wall, but in the wall. And that's a trip, because that's where the lymph system is, and again, that's where stagnation is. Remember I told you my kind of my word I like to coin, interstitial, meaning around the cells, lymphatic, which is the lymph system, and constipation, meaning I'm not moving anywhere fast. That's what most of us suffer with, is interstitial lymphatic constipation. And that is an anionic environment through years of not filtering properly, and the adrenal glands creates that, uh, that filtering process. Uh, so I think I've answered, I think I've answered that. I don't know, can you see this? This is a, I don't know if you can see this, I'm not watching myself here, but this is an all raw food chart uh, uh, from the American Cancer Society in 1986. This is what they recommended for those with cancer. Now you can have rattlesnake, ostrich, kangaroo, you know, anything you want like that. And uh, you see how many, I mean, that had to be a money thing. Of course, fruits and vegetables. What else would you eat? Dead animals? Would you eat like billy goats? I mean, you know what? I mean, either there's a lot of unawareness or there's just people willing to sell out themselves for... Um, we sell glandulars. Uh, you can only get glandulars mostly through physicians or, or healthcare practitioners. Um, but, uh, but you can get online with them. We have them here. And uh, just talk to the uh, girls in the pharmacy there. Let me see. Oh, here's one I marked to answer. Let's see what it says. 
Uh, Dr. Moore, someone went uh, through chemo, radiation, multiple surgeries. This guy, and this is, I've read this before, my friend. You went through it at 19 years old. Wow. Uh, I mean, I applaud you. And you're now 35, which is a good, uh, you know, a good period of time where it's not all through you. Man, don't take any to get your body cleaned out. That, that radiation can hang around for 20, 30 years. I had a gentleman from the first atomic bomb explosion, and I was about 10 years ago, and he was, I don't know, he was 30, 40 years holding this, uh, red like a Santa Claus. And when I started detoxifying his skin and all that radiation came out of him. Radiation is kind of like acids and everything else. When you're acidic, things become antibiotic and they just stay around. Sulfur drugs are common to stay around in the body from antibiotic use, sulfur drugs. And this really creates fungal. Oh, oh, that reminds me. You know, sorry how this goes with me. I apologize, but I'm kind of wacko like that. Someone asked me about candida. Well, there's uh, important to understand the role of the fungal family. Those people that like fermented foods, uh, you like fungus or, or <laughs> because that's the family that breaks down uh, uh, starches is the fungal family. And when it's proteins, you have putrefaction, more bacterium. But when you're looking at the fungal family, they are the family involved in fermentation processes, and it's a natural process of sugars. Uh, or, uh, you look at, and even some things like milk and stuff, like that, yeah, milk sugars and stuff. So someone used to say, well, don't eat fruit because it makes the body full of candida. Well, it stirs up candida because of all the uh, active principles of astringents, but uh, fructose is a simple sugar like glucose. More active because it doesn't require insulin, still a simple sugar. You can put a handful of grapes on your kitchen counter, and you can put a piece of bread and a piece of cheese, and you can watch which one of those three grow mold on them first. And I guarantee you it won't be the grapes. The grapes only start growing mold on them when? When they start to ferment. So, we talked about this in past videos that when you have an adrenal gland weakness and you have low cortisol levels, you don't metabolize your sugars properly. Well, somebody thought starch was good for us. Grains are the savior of the world. In what way? No way. You know, we use them in farming for fattening up hogs and cattle for market. I told you before, I was a farm boy, we raised horses and we fed our horses alfalfa because my sister and I were always racing them. And I didn't want a fat horse that would, would tax the horse even, you know, because I've always loved my animals. And uh, feeding and making a horse fat is uh, not my idea, it's making, like making you fat. When you feel fat, uh, I know when I gain some extra weight, I don't feel good. And it's always from either grains or somehow you're eating where you're in a situation and you don't eat right. Grains are hard to digest. They're nothing but starch. And if you have weak adrenal glands, not only are you going to get fat or obese from that, you're going to create, you're giving too much sugar. Your body can't break that sugar down. Well, that sugar will be converted to glycogen or some fat, and you'll have fungal activity on that. And that really bring, breeds a lot of fungus in the body. And uh, remember, the fungus family, candida, all these type of fungals, moles, warts, uh, they leave uric acid in the body. And that's not good. Uric acid is that little pinprick acid, like gouty acid that nobody likes. And that's from excessive candida. One of the biggest uh, uh, aphrodisiacs to the fungal or candida community is sulfur drugs. This use of sulfur drugs and antibiotics is so barbaric and antiquated, it's unbelievable. Use herbs. I mean, herbs are so unique. It keeps the good guys, it breaks down the overgrowth, but it doesn't destroy the bacteria and the lymph nodes. Uh, vital stuff to have in the body, and it doesn't create candida. Uh, look at all these people with sulfur. If you want to know if you have sulfur, go to a, get a mirror that's one of those, you know, 14X or whatever. Get you a flashlight and look in your eye. If you see any orange, 